I'm gonna show you guys how to raise land crab. We're gonna have to go ahead and put one million holes here. Come on. Look at the claw clan, guys. Whoa. What up Slayers, we're back at it with another Slay adventure and we're actually continuing the last episode which was absolutely insane. If you haven't checked that out, check it out. I'm gonna go ahead and link that below. But we're at Wally World. That's right, we're at Walmart. Before we go ahead and jump into today's episode, what we're gonna go ahead and do is shout out the winner of the Hidden Sticker Challenge. Congratulations to you. You went ahead and answered all the questions correctly and found the hidden stickers. If you want to go ahead and get shout out in the next video, guys, be sure to go ahead and find these stickers right here and answer all the questions at the end of the video correctly. Now, guys, what we're doing today is actually making a terrarium. A terrarium. So, guys, what we go ahead and do here, let me go ahead and jump up. Oh, good Lord of mercy. We're making a terrarium of my pet that we went ahead and caught with monster mike it was absolutely insane let me go ahead and roll a clip of how exactly we caught those oh my god they're going everywhere they're going everywhere oh my god there's so many well, as you can see we have one Ooh. i'm gonna grab a couple more just load up with a whole bunch Max, you the net? We're needing so many right now. So many right now. We're like noodling them. Look at this. Great. Wow. No, look at this. Watch, watch while I pull out. Look at this. Oh Jeez. my gosh. Crazy. As you can see, it was out of this world. What a crazy little crab island we found, right? It was right? insane. Insane. So I'm going to show you guys how to raise land crabs. Maybe breed them in the future, but I'm not too sure about that. But what we're going to have to do is rid them of parasites, make sure they're healthy and nice and sweet so that when we go ahead and eat them, they taste very, very good. So hopefully I don't get attached to them. If I get attached, then I might have to keep one or two. I, I don't know. But right now we need to make sure they have a very good home. Well, hello, Slayers. So we have arrived at our location. These are the exact pins we'll need right here. Probably one that's probably about this big. We'll need two of these. Excuse me, camera. Sorry. So we'll probably need two of these. So they're not that expensive. As you can see, they're 19.98. And we gotta grab two of these. So hold on. Got it. We'll throw that wherever that person stole over there. Grab <laughs> these. Two of these bags. Put that in this cart. Oh, we gotta remember the lid. So this will, be, this will be perfect for them so that they don't escape. We're gonna go ahead and divide all the crabs in here, probably like six and six. I think I have a dozen. So we're definitely gonna need this and I'll show you how to build this perfectly for them. Um, hmm. We need soil or dirt. Let's ride. Well, Slayers, we made it to the garden section. Oh, and we're still riding. Now we need to find some sort of dirt for our beautiful land crab. So we're gonna need something very good, very sturdy for them so that they can kind of move around and they can kind of feel at home since we're taking them from their home. But like I said guys, we're gonna be raising these guys. We have to feed them. We have to make sure that everything that they were eating before is out of their system and everything like that. So we gotta find some dirt here at the Wally Mart. We also need some clay pots. Clay pots like so, they're 38 cents. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab Probably four. And these clay pots will serve as watering holes for our land crabs. All right, Slayers. So they do not have pool filter sand. But while we're here, might as well go ahead and just choose something here. They have red mulch, which is very, very good. It retains moisture, which I kind of want to keep them in an environment where it's kind of wet, but they're air breathers, so they got to stay kind of dry. So this is going to be pretty good for them. We're good to go now. I think we have the bins. We have their watering holes and we have substrate. So that's just about everything they need to go ahead and survive. I'm gonna go ahead and be personally feeding them specific foods. So I think it's time to head home and finally build our terrarium aquarium for the Claw Clan. All right, Slayer, so we made it to the house. We have everything we need. I got my drill. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is separate these two aquariums or terrariums. Since they're very terrestrial animals, those beautiful crabs that we have. And they're doing good and I'll show you how they're doing once they're in their enclosure. So what I'm gonna go ahead and get accomplished right here right now is get the substrate going. Actually, before the substrate, 
we're gonna go ahead and drill our holes. So I'm gonna drill a big old hole probably, probably up here, right here as you can see, so that if there's a lot of water, they don't drown and it drains out. So to go ahead and get this thing going, give me a second. All right guys, so we're good to go and I'm gonna place it, they're tall enough to be here. So, gonna go inside and make a big hole. Come on, baby. And this is why I chose this, because this is very nice and thick and can hold water if we have to. So that's one hole. Hopefully we can get out of there. Yep, there's one, okay? That's one hole for the overflow. We're gonna do another one right here. Come on, come on, baby. Alrighty. And then we're gonna go ahead and do one more hole. Perfect, there's the last hole. So now we have three holes where air can go ahead and go in, as well as water can go ahead and escape. All right, so if water actually gets that high, which I highly doubt, like look how high that, ha that has to go, really high. So I'm gonna add the substrate here, overflow will be here, but we're still gonna have some water inside so they can bathe, but we're also gonna have like clean water bowls as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing for the other one, but before doing that, we're gonna have to go ahead and put one million holes here so they have air coming in at all times because i want to keep it closed because crabs like shelter they like darkness they're nocturnal creatures they walk a lot they're very active at night so i want to kind of create something that is very similar to their habitat so that when they're eating they're feeding and everything make sure they're nice and comfortable i don't want them dying on me because if crabs die like everything dies at the same time so we're gonna work on these holes everything set and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we finished everything. As you can see, I did a set of three holes. Three, six, nine, twelve. On both lids, which are big enough. I just got to continue to rip these pieces off. Make sure that the crabs don't get excited and think it's like bananas or something. They start eating it. But uh, anyways, this is not completely done yet. Cool thing is, when I put them over here, I got these bins. You want to make sure they cannot escape. So... You want to make sure they have air, but they cannot escape. So there's the lid. Here is our DIY homemade terrarium aquarium for our massive land crabs. It's perfect. It is. Dude, it's, it's pretty solid. I'd say maybe like a 30 gallon, maybe 40 gallon. It's about 18 inches long. Yeah, it's about a 40 gallon breeder. So I did the same thing on the other side. So if water really gets high up there, it can escape. But they like water too, because they have to go ahead and wet their gills. So, we're all done. What do you think? It's amazing. Let me know if you want to see more DIY videos from me. I mean, I am Bob the Builder, or Joey the Builder, or Diego, <laughs> whoever the one the Spanish one is. That's <laughs> Perfect. All right, time to go ahead now and add our substrate. So we're gonna grab some out. Be very careful when handling mulch. Time to add our substrate. So open this thing up right here and just add it here. Yeah. So I'm gonna make like a mound here. It's gonna be a huge mound. I should have just got one bag. But yeah, this is the big mound here where they can go ahead and do whatever they want. Just like this. It can hold moisture so it's humid as well as when I open the lid, they can dry up and get some direct sunlight. But this is pretty much it. Can't really beat that. So we're gonna do that to the next one. I'm gonna find those clay pots, get them all set up, and it's finally time to move the Claw Clan into here. Look at the Claw Clan, guys. Whoa! Dude, such messy things. It's insane. So if you count, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I think it's gonna be fair we do five and five. Now, if you come over here and check this out, we have our watering bowls. We have one and we have two. And we have one here and we have two. Now, when I fill those up with water, they're gonna be able to bathe, do their thing. But as you can see over here, they like to really be out of water. Look at them. That's insane. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and examine these guys. So let's look at this. Look, they're so fast. Whoa, whoa, look at these claws. <laughs> so as you can see, here's a blue one. Look how blue, look at this purple one. You see how purple wow. that one is? And this one's purple and yellow. What happened to you, kiddo? Oh, the claws. 
she's lost some legs. And I say she because if you look right here, this is exactly how you can go ahead and sex them. She has a very broad body here. Let's see if I have a male somewhere. Mr. Male. Male? Yes, this is a male. Big claws, obviously. But look, very slender bottom. Let me see if I can hold them here without losing a finger in the process. And I can grab her because she's a little bit easier to handle. I really think she's pretty. I wonder what happened. But look, broad body, slender body right there. This is so that they can hold their eggs while this is to go ahead and, you know, make the baby. So what we're going to go ahead and do is actually start putting some of them in here. So here you go, buddy. Here's your new home, Mrs. and Mr. That's their enclosure. They can grab onto that no problem. So we're going to grab more here and we're going to divide them up evenly. Like I said, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So five in each tote. Okay, we're going to put another blue one here. What's what we got here? Another female? All right, another female. See, this is perfect. See how they go inside the watering bowl? Oh, yeah. It's perfect for them so that they can drink and they get inside the watering bowl. And since I'm dividing them and I have two watering bowls, everyone's gonna be able to have an opportunity to drink. The cool thing about crabs is they're similar to crawfish, they molt. So all the appendages that fall off, they regrow every time they molt. They have a soft body. So I gotta be on the lookout to make sure they don't eat each other while they're molting. So as you see, this is perfect. There's water there, they'll hop in, drink some water, and vice versa. Oh, I'm so excited. I think, to be fair, we should actually try to make sure that everything that goes in with each other are around the same size. Look at this one trying to get me. He got me here, see? That's why I wear these gloves. So I'm gonna put her here. He's really big. So we're gonna move this big boy. Oh yeah. In here, get in there and we're gonna continue to move the rest. So this one's a little smaller. Look how fast this one is. Whoa, oh whoa, gosh. whoa. We got a dude, oh, another female. Okay, okay, no problem. Put that one here. Look at her bury, she's burying oh herself. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's like, my home. This is my home, so it's perfect. They're all gonna bury and pretty much make themselves at home. And don't add also too much mulch. As you can see, they're trying to escape. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five here. All right, this one's a little injured. It's missing a few legs and a claw. So this one, even though it's bigger than these, it can't really get in a, a crazy fight and bully the rest, okay? And I think this enclosure is done. So that means the rest of the claw clan can go ahead and move to the other one. Whoa, 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 relax. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Be careful. Be careful, they're very, very aggressive. They're carnivorous. Ah, close one. There you go. Ah. You'll grow your legs back. Sorry for all the movements and stuff. I'm just trying to go back and forth and get these guys in their home as soon as possible. Okay, that one hurt. Look at that, crazy. So we'll get this one too. What are you? Male, female, female, female. I got a lot of women. Who doesn't like women? Let go. She doesn't want to let go. So I guess we're just gonna hold hands and I'm gonna grab the last one. And I think this one's a guy. Oh, blue female. So I might just have one male. I might. Definitely male right here. How about you, sir? Male, female too. So he is the alpha male and he's the man with many wives, I guess. So that's one, two, three, four. All right, you can let go now. There you go. That's it, we're done. We have 10 land crabs that we went ahead and caught in mud holes. And we have the beautiful homes right here. What do you think? Check them out, guys. They're what awesome. do you think? They look cozy. They look cozy. So in the comments below, let me know if I should change your name. I really like the Claw Clan because they have claws. With that being said, guys, we have run out of time for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to go ahead and get shouted out in the next video, make sure to answer the three following questions correctly. Question number one, how many crabs do we have in these enclosures? Question number two, how many stickers we used today? And question number three, what color were the stickers we used today? And with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next adventure. Booyah. <laughs>